5.1 integer exponents and scientific notation, standard MA 912 NSO 1.2. We're going to use the rules of exponents to simplify expressions, rewrite exponential expressions involving negative and zero exponents, and write very large and very small numbers in scientific notation. So some rules of exponents you need to remember from your earlier days. M and N are going to be positive integers, means positive and negative whole numbers. A and B are real numbers, variables, or an algebraic expression. So the first rule is the product rule. It says that A to the N power times A to the N is the same as saying A to the M plus N. The quotient one is A to the M divided by A to the N is the same thing as saying A to the M minus N, where M has to be greater than N and A does not equal zero. The product to power is a parenthesis of AB closed raised to the M power is the same thing as saying A to the M power times B to the M power. The power to a power rule, A to the M in parentheses raised to the N on the outside is the same thing as saying A to the M times N. Quotient to power, parentheses A over B closed to the M power is A to the M over B to the M, where B does not equal zero. So in example one, it says parentheses x squared y to the fourth times the parentheses 3x close the parentheses. We are going to group our terms together. So we're going to see the three by itself and then I see x squared with another x and then y to the fourth. I grouped my pieces side by side and all you got to do is now combine them. Three is the only number. There are a total of two plus one. There's three x's and a y to the fourth and it's finished. When you look at the next one, it says negative two parentheses y to the second close to the power of three. So here's a power to power rule and a negative two on the outside. So the negative two slides over. And then you say y two to the third, two times three. So we end up with negative two y to the sixth power now. It is saying that this is repeated three times. On the next one, we see 14a to the fifth, b to the third, all over 7a squared, b to the second. So we're going to write it out as 14 divided by 7. Then we have an a, 5 minus the 2, because a and a's, b, 3 minus the 2. So we see 14 divided by 7 is a 2. a, 5 apples took away 2. We have 3 of them. b's, we had 3 took 2. We have 1 of them. On the next one, we see x to the n, y to the 3n over x second, y to the fourth. Again, bases are the same when you're in fraction form. If bases are the same, you're subtracting your exponents. So we see x to the n minus a 2, y to the 3n minus a 4. And you can't do anything else after this. This is, would be your result. Zero exponent and negative exponent says that a and b are real numbers where a does not equal zero, b does not equal zero, and m is an integer. So first rule, if you see a, anything raised to the zero power, that is the answer is one. Anything raised to the zero power is one. If you see a or anything raised to the negative m power, you rewrite it to say one over a to the m by making the exponent positive. You're not allowed to have negative exponents. If you see parentheses, a over b closed raised to the negative m, we are inverting, flipping the, the numerator and denominator, so it now becomes b over a, and your exponent becomes a positive value. So if we look at example two, it says three to the zero power, remember for the rules, anything raised to the zero power, that answer is a one. If you see three raised to the negative two power, think of it putting over one, so they are swapping directions. Now I see one over three, the X might becomes positive. So we have one over three squared, which is a nine. So I get one ninth. On the next one, it says three over four raised to negative four, negative one power. So it's in parentheses raised to negative one. So we are switching the fraction, inverting it. Four over three now is a positive one. So your answer is just four thirds. We look at example three. It has a combination it says two times x to the negative one. Notice that the negative one is only attached to the x, so you still see two over one, and we are flipping the x and one. So I see two over one times one over x. So we get two over x as a result. And this one we see parentheses is containing the two x raised to the negative one power, so we are flipping the entire thing become one over two X. 
on C, it says three over X to negative two. You wanna make sure that the X one becomes positive. So if it's in the denominator, it needs to try slide up to the top. So I see three times X squared, the power is now positive. On D, the parentheses is contained and the entire thing is raised to negative. So we are swapping positions. So I'm now gonna see three X close to the power of two and then apply the power. It's three to the power of two, X to the power of two, so three squared is a nine X squared. In example four, it says parentheses negative five X to the negative three power of two. First thing I would do is apply the power first. So you're gonna write it as negative five in parentheses power of two X negative three times two. I'm giving the power rule to each piece. So then now it's negative five is in parentheses squared becomes a positive 25. We have X to the negative six power. And now I need that negative X one to become positive. So think of it as putting it over one. So it swaps positions. So now we end up with 25 sitting on top of X to the six. On B, it says negatives on the outside, parentheses seven X over Y to the second, all close to the negative two power. So since the power is negative, it's contained, we are switching, flipping our fraction. So the negative still is on the outside, y squared on top now, seven x on the bottom, power of two on top, now positive. So now we're keeping the power, the negative sign is still there. We see y second times the second, we get seven raised to the power of two, x raised to the power of two. So we result in negative sign y to the fourth over Seven squared is 49, X to the second power. On C, it says 12 X to the second, Y to the negative fourth over six X to the negative one, Y to the second. So I'm gonna show you a different what aspect of using the rules. If you see the variables are negative, wherever they're negative, you wanna make them positive. So we are moving the negative X to the one up, the so Y to the negative fourth down. So right now I see, see 12 over six, X squared and X joins it. On the bottom, I see a Y squared and the Y to the fourth joins it. Then we do our math. 12 divided by six is a two. So think of two over one. We have X to the third now because these two are going to add. Y to the six because those two are going to add. And then finalize your piece. The two is still part of the numerator, so you have two X cubed over Y to the six as a result. On D, it says parentheses, eight X to the negative one, Y to the fourth over four X to the third, Y to the second all closed raised to the negative three power. Before we do anything, I would move the inside first. And it needs to be moved. So the negative one, X to the negative one needs to come down. So now I see parentheses, eight Y to the fourth over four X to the third and X joined it, Y to the second, raise the negative third power. First thing I did is I just moved my negatives inside. Now I'm gonna flip my entire bubble because it's a negative exponent. So now I see four X to the fourth, Y to the second, over eight y to the fourth over raised to a power of three. We are now going to reduce on the inside. Four goes into eight twice. So I see one over x to the fourth becomes a half. And notice that the y's, the bigger numbers on the bottom. So four take away the two, I have two on the bottom raise the power of three. Now we can apply that power rule. So we see one to the third is still a one. X is four times a three. Then you see two to the third power, Y two times a three. So we see one X to the 12th power, two to the third power is eight. Two times three is six, so Y to the six. On E, it says 3x y to the zero power over x squared parentheses 5y to the zero power. First, apply what we see. Power rules, 
raised to a zero power. So we see three X, Y to the zero becomes a one because of our rule. X squared, the entire parentheses of five Y is raised to the power of that is also a one. So now I see three X over X squared. The bigger X is on the bottom. So we see three over X as our result.